playing a team that's undefeated and um, you know, we're playing at home and it takes us about ten minutes before we really turned it up and started to compete. Um, we um, we had a short prep and we had two teams that couldn't be more different, Tennessee uh, and South Carolina. Um, but I thought what, I thought the game plan that we put together um, was really sound and could be effective. Um, but I didn't think we had a great prep this week. I don't think we had two good days of practice. Um, South Carolina extends defensively, and um, one of the things that we lack right now are breakdown guys. So. Breakdown guys are guys that can take it off the bounce, penetrate the defense, break it down, and then make plays for others. And so if you look at my team, it's hard to find anybody that can do that right now. Um, TJ Dunnes was probably the best I had at it. Taj is really good at it. Kareem can break you down, but a lot of times it's for his offense, which is great, but it's not always, it's not, he's not a breakdown guy feeding everybody all the time. Um, and so sometimes Tyler or even Simeon become guys that can break it down in, 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 in structure. But, you know, we obviously turned the ball over. We didn't execute. As a result, we got beat. First, how many of those turnovers just eyeballing it? Did you feel like were unforced, or, or did you feel like they were active with South Carolina? I'd saw, well, I'd give South Carolina credit uh, because they play hard, they turn you over. But I thought half of them, I thought half of our 21 turnovers were just, you know, plays that, that uh, where we lost composure and, and just didn't take care of it, didn't, didn't value possessions. Coach, in the second half, uh, in the paint, almost 12, what what are you going to do to get the ball in the paint more? To get uh, these guys to get the ball in the paint? We had, we had, Tyler Harris made nine of our 12 two-point baskets. I had three two-point baskets for the rest of the team. It's scary, isn't it? I asked Tyler the same thing. and. He, he would made a valiant effort tonight. What? Oh, Tyler was, Tyler was terrific. Um, he was 10 for 13 in there, and we were begging, just, you know, trying to play call and trying to beg the guys to throw it in there. And they did, you know, we, we, uh, we didn't do a very good job recognizing that mismatch and, and taking advantage of Tyler on the inside. Coach, uh, Daniel Purifoy was on the bench. Is there any update on his status? Okay. Any reason why he wasn't even at the bench or here in the building tonight, or any reason as to why he wasn't even in the building watching no. the bench? It's going to sound like a broken record, Bruce, but how does the air go out of the balloon again when Horace gets those two fouls, two minutes into the game? Is... Yep, it's tough, um, really tough. And then he gets it. We got, we probably are, are going. We just probably need to play him a little bit through that foul, through the foul difficulty because. You know, he only played 12 minutes, and he didn't foul the rest of the game, and I probably could have played him a little bit more in the first half. We did. We actually played him some in the first half, but in three minutes he gets two fouls. It's kind of, it's, uh, it's tough. Anybody else? All right. Thank you, Kurt.